In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to find the equilibrium concentrations when you are given the equilibrium constant and all but one of the equilibrium concentrations of the reactants and products. Let's start with question number one. Consider the reaction shown below, and in an equilibrium mixture, the concentration of COF2 is 0.255 molars, and the concentration of CF4 is 0.118 molars. What is the equilibrium concentration of CO2. So here we're being asked to find the concentration of CO2, which I'll represent with square brackets. To do this, all we have to do is set up a simple equilibrium expression and use some algebra to solve for CO2. Here's what I mean. So I'll write down that Kc is equal to the concentration of the products, so we have CO2, its concentration, that's what we're looking for, times the concentration of CF4, and luckily for us, our equation is already balanced because it needs to be balanced before you do this and this is being divided by the concentration of COF2 and that will be raised to the power of 2 because of the coefficient 2. Substituting all of the numbers that we have so this is what we're looking for we can call that X if you like CF4 is 0 0.118 and COF2 is given as 0 0.255 the constant's also given. It is 2.00 at 1000 degrees Celsius. Notice that I've replaced all the symbols with their appropriate numbers. To solve for CO2, I first have to multiply both sides by this factor. So if I multiply both sides of this equation by 0 0.255 squared, and by all means you can evaluate that right now, this will cancel out with that, and on this side we have 0 0.255 raised to the power of 2 times 2. Our equation should look like this. Next, we still have to worry about the factor 0 0.118, and you can get rid of that by dividing both sides by that. 0 0.118, 0 0.118, this cancels out with that, and now we use our calculator. 0 0.255 raised to the power of 2 times 2.00, both of those numbers are three significant figures, and the denominator is a three significant figure number, 0 0.118. The reason why that's important is because our final answer should also be three significant figures. 1.10, that's the concentration of CO2, 1.10 molars. In question number two, we're asked, molecular iodine decomposes at high temperature to form iodine atoms according to the reaction. In an equilibrium mixture, the concentration of iodine is 0 0.10 molars. What is the equilibrium concentration of iodine? This is much the same as question one. Let me do this really quickly for you. We have Kc is equal to the concentration of iodine, and that's what we're looking for, over, and notice that we have to raise this to the power of two because of the coefficient, and the concentration of the diatomic version of iodine, and it's not being raised to any power because there's no number at the front. Substituting all the values that we have, so rather than Kc, we'll write down 0 0.011, and rather than this, I'll write in 0 0.10. Using the same algebraic procedure as before, I'll multiply both sides by the factor underneath, that cancels out. Remember that that number right there is two significant figures, and our final answer should also be two significant figures, and we're left with 0 0.10 times 0 0.011 is equal to iodine. To get rid of this power of two, I square root both sides, so second root, and we use our calculator, the square root of 0 0.10 times 0 0.011 gives us 0 0.033 as the concentration of iodine, and that's in molars. And there you have it, two examples on how to find the equilibrium concentrations.